This is the Transformers Prime Arms Micron number 16, the Jet V Cons, and Arms Micron number 34, the Jet V Con General by Takara Tomy. These are fantastic uh, V Con molds. I am, it is beyond me why Hasbro did not want to bring this to the US or any other parts of the world except in Japan. Takara brought it out and uh, my guess is it went the way of Breakdown. Hasbro had already mentioned that Breakdown was impossible to bring outside of Japan for interna other international markets and US because the price point of the figure was neither here nor there. It was neither, neither a Voyager it was too high for a Voyager, too low for an Ultra Class, so they didn't bother with it. But the Jet V Con, I mean, it's just a bunch of wings. The, the, the wheels were removed, but they replaced it with wings. I'm sure Hasbro could have managed some way to get this, but they did not. God knows why. So here's the packaging. Fantastic. It's great. It's like a Gundam kit. It's worth keeping, in my opinion. So if you plan on selling these in the future when you're done with transformers at least the value isn't going to be diminished as much if you have the box am 34 am 16 i bought two of these because they look great together the general with his two uh knights or his two soldiers looks very great uh very good let me just try and stand them up uh there it, it, it uses most mainly the the robots in disguise uh, V-Con mold, robot mold, and uh, with, with slight variations uh, on obviously the wings, the shoulders, because there's no more, they got rid of the, the wheels. And uh, the Jet V-Con, the grunts, they suffer a bit of uh, loose hips syndrome. This one is in this one in particular is very loose. He's uh, he's got loose joints here, but it's it's nothing. Uh, a little nail polish won't fix, and um, this one is a little bit tighter, but it's still it's still as loose as that one. The Jet V Con, on the other hand, is is has a lot tighter hips. It still be loose, but it's much tighter than the others. I don't know why. They share the same mold, basically Jet V Con mold, the same exact same mold, exact same Minicon. Differences only being the color of the plastic used, obviously paint apps, and the color of the stickers. But it's exactly the same sticker sheet, just different colors. Same Minicon, just different colors. Uh, just for, let me just see if I can bring this in. This is the Hasbro Robots in this guy's V-Con. This is the, the first, let me get rid of one. V-Con General here. Here's the Hasbro robots in disguise. Uh, Vicon, as you can see, it uses the same. They replaced the wheels with these, the wings. They added on, and I guess the the wings were was just too much plastic for Hasbro to actually bring it out of Japan. I don't know why. And this is the first edition Vicon, the Bruiser Vicon, as I'd like to call him. Um, yeah. There. Now, paint. Let's start with the just the V cons first because they came out first. These are great. Uh, fantastic, fantastic color scheme by Takara Tomy. Very, very impressed with it. The it uses the same um, purplish black plastic they used for the robots in disguise and the the regular V con um, figures, but instead of a uh, purplish blue, they gave it a more of a pinkish purple lilac metallic paint apps on him that really make the figure look a lot more purple than blue uh, it's just a wonderful wonderful color combination the stickers yeah i had my gripes about the stickers uh in my in my takara v con review mm, first of all it's a pain to put on but after doing three jet v cons it becomes a lot easier but you know, some of the stickers, they'll tend to peel off. I like the metallic look on them, but you know what? Great paint apps is still the best for me, especially with the Decepticon symbol. I get what Takara was trying to do with it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, as far as paint apps goes, fantastic. 
Now, now these guys, they um, let me talk about this guy. I'll let's talk about it later. Now they come with the same mini con, the same as the regular uh, V cons mini con. Uh, it's like a lizard iguana type of blaster. It's an iguana. <laughs> Love this thing. All right, and then he's a he's a blaster right there, which he can hold. You can peg here or peg here. Either way, peg on the shoulders. You can give him, if you have two, you can put them here as shoulder cannons. It's really up to you. Articulation for all these figures is exactly the same as the V-Con. Uh, ball jointed neck, no waist or torso articulation, ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, hinge on the elbow, ball joints on the elbow, hinge on the wrist, ball jointed hip, hinge knees, a little bit of foot articulation because of transformation. Pain apps for this guy, well, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it was just going to be just plain gray. Uh, the From the looks of it, it looks like the same type of pearlesque metallic plastic they used for Universe. I keep referring to Universe Sideswipe because that for me is the epitome of plastic. Glossy flake with a little bit of flake type of thing, pearlesque plastic for me and that's the that's the benchmark now they've, they've used it again on this one which is very nice so it's not just a plain dull gray plastic it, it's got that look at that sheen that flake going on not glittery it, it's more of a pearlesque type of sheen so not as bad as i thought it would be uh i've seen pictures of this was so great and then reviewers came out and said ah it's too plain like this one it, the legs look plain but if you look closely it's not that bad uh, the gray bits, I have a little bit of a glitter going on for them. There's some silver metallic paint apps on his chest and on his face, which is really great. Thank you, Takara, for doing that. Um, other than that, he's got the same stickers as the j other Jet V cons, but more on the grayish, sil silverish hue. The Minicon is exactly the same, but done in gray. It transforms exactly the same way. And, but it has different hue of purple uh, on it, a lighter silvery purple on it instead of a more pinkish lilac purple. Okay, so very nice. Uh, I'm going to transform them now. Uh, let's do this one because he's got loose, a lot more loose legs. You've already seen this guy transform, so I'm just going to... pop. What am I doing? It doesn't pop all the way anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll keep it there for now. We'll transform both just in case you, so I can show him to you in vehicle mode. Now he transforms exactly the same as the uh, regular V-Con, so I'm not going to dwell too much about it. The fold up roof on the legs. Uh, it's best you don't join the legs together and up until you, you've, uh, you've stretched them out and fold them in the way you want them to. Okay. So we'll keep it that way for now. Uh, the head, fold this up, and it's like it's got that revealer's gimmick. The arms, the arms are very easy to do. A lot of people are confused with this, but uh, here's an easy. The easiest way I know is you fold the wrists or the hands inside. What you want to do is you want to fold this. You want to fold up the hinge on the elbow. Make sure that it folds up on on the side. Damn. Excuse me. And then this one, just fold it off to this, fold off the uh, the ball joint, fold the entire forearm assembly off flat to the ball joint. What you want to achieve is something like this, so you can fold it up like that. That's as easy as I know how to do it. Fold again in any position. If you find your V con in some other position as the uh, prone position, just put it back to its prone position. Fold it. Fold the the fist. Fold the fold the hinge on the elbow so that the ball joint is up there and then collapse the arm the forearm onto the side so that you can fold him up like that we'll do it again on the other uh, the jet vcon general if you didn't get quite get that so go ahead and tab these tab these in like that It 
it's it's a little bit of a short gap uh, very very small clearance that it has but it'll, it'll fit as you can see there's a little bit more of a aerofoil over there a little bit of aerodynamic thing going on open the wings they look like fairy wings you can position them any way you want you can put in like butterfly wings fairy or seeker wings it's up to you but for transformation they do tab in there's only one way to do it like that and there you go as you can see very very nice looking jet v con there's some stickers as you can see uh just to give it some highlights some metallic highlights but it's very nice no landing gear except for this one that's molded in and these two mini con ports pegs doesn't matter uh this one if you well you can mount it here here you can put it off to the side like that it's really up to you and there is the jet v con in his alt mode we'll do it again uh with the jet v con general off here so again um let's do the arms this time uh first well, for the head i had trouble with this one for the jet v con i had trouble with the head the the gray plastic was made of a little bit of a lighter plastic than the purple one so it, it popped off as, as it was very tight in the beginning it's always very tight but when i try to pull it out it became a lot more loose now as you pull it and put it in and out it's now a lot more loose but in the first time when you get the jet v con it was very tight so i pull it out and it popped the thing right off this thing and it was a pain to put back because there was very little clearance to put those bars into those uh clips right there but once you get it, it it's a lot more loose once you do it uh, often enough anyway uh so fold up the again fold your wrist fold the elbow up like that and then fold this one flat like this and fold it up like that that's how you do it again put it in the prone position fold the, the fist fold the elbow up slide it over here and fold him like that Did you get that one last time fold it up slide and fold like that and collapse very easy onto the feet oh um if if you buy the takara versions uh, even the hasbro version just be careful when you're tabbing the feet onto the back on the roof because you the tabs are a little bit sh not sharp but they, they can do some major damage onto the roof so if you, you want to preserve the paint apps on this just make sure you tab it exactly okay don't don't go fidgeting about with it like that just go like that anyway so unfold, unfold, exactly the same. Fold it up like this. And then you can go ahead and tab the pieces together once you've folded them the way you want them to. Fold the fenders. Okay, slide it over here. You will notice though that for the Jet V Econ mold, they use the Hasbro rear bumper instead of the Takara uh, bumper with the thrusters. Well, I'll show you in a little while. Um, Go ahead and not make the same mistake. Shoot that tab right in there. And then before you tab everything in. Okay. Shoot it right there. And tab it here. Okay. And then the fairy wings. That. Oh. Oh. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Okay. Isn't it tabbing? Hmm. It's fine. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Weird. Maybe the arms aren't all the way in. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Weird. Anyway. So there you go. There's the Jet V Con General. Uh, it looks plain at first glimpse, but when you get a good look at it, as you can see, as I was talking about, I was telling you guys, the, there's that flake, a little bit of a pearlesque sheen going on uh, on the gray plastic, which is not too bad. 
I was hoping it would be more of a chrome finish as what most people were saying, but that would jack up the cost for this one. So good enough. Some red metallic highlights here and there, some silver. That's fine. Now, as I was saying, this is the Takara version. Same Minicon, exactly the same. I think this was a lot better. It's a lot more colorful. Uh, oh, oh, it's a different mold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's a little bit of a different mold, as you can see. Um, this one has sort of like a tusk right there. Uh, and it's not an iguana. This one is sort of like a rhino. My bad. Uh, for the Takara V Con. And then this one is the. Where is that? This is the iguana. Hmm. I made a mistake. My bad. That's why it doesn't fold. Oh, there you go. That's why it doesn't. This one doesn't fold up all the way. So, iguana and a bit of a rhino. Very similar, um, but different. My bad. Okay. We'll get rid of that for now. Okay. So, the Takara version has the, like the Batmobile thruster on the back, whereas the, the Jet V Con doesn't. Okay. So off to the side here here is the Hasbro version I love the paint as like I said paint apps to me look far better than uh, just plain old stickers um, I don't know good paint apps are still the best ones for me and then the uh, get rid of the weapons and this is the the bruiser <laughs> the first edition um, Jet V kind. Back the camera up a bit. Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay. So there you go. That's the Jet V Con. Um, might as well put the others in play as well. Uh, so uh, it, it's a great great addition to your to your um, Transformers Prime shelf uh, but is it worth the import well given the fact that Hasbro did not release it yeah okay but I I wouldn't pay more than oh I don't know not more than 40 or 50 dollars 50 dollars should be the, sh the shipping limit the, the shipping the the price limit for this one fifty dollars shipped that that should be it uh or if you have a friend who's going to japan have him get you a couple of these because it's much cheaper if you get it in japan just pay f you can you can just bring it over lug it in your luggage uh but they're a little bit pricey uh they're going for at least thirty dollars twenty five thirty dollars it's kind of pricey steve but it is a japanese product Takara tone but they do make really really nice products so it's really up to you uh, it depends on how much you need to complete your 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 vcon shelf or your uh, your your uh, transformers prime shelf uh, and it will totally depend on that this thing is not tabbing correctly there we go um, but to me, I, I think it's for me because I'm a, I need I like the V cons. I love the Jet V cons. They look great with Starscream. Decided to go get them. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases, Instagram for my toy sightings here in Manila. Check out all my video reviews on this channel, Chefatron. This has been the Transformers Prime, Arms Micron 16 and Arms Micron 34, the Jet V Con and the Jet V Con General by Takara Tomy. Thanks for watching.